Congratulations on upgrading to Field Warrior ELD. In this video, we'll cover what you can expect to see when transitioning from Field Warrior AOBRD to Field Warrior ELD. Everyone who is mandated to track hours of service is required to have an electronic logging device installed in their vehicle and be properly trained on how to use it by December 16, 2019. Field Warrior ELD is a compliant solution when used with the required ECM hardware or GPS modem. It was designed by Forward Thinking Systems and is officially registered on the FMCSA website as an approved ELD. If you were previously using the Field Warrior AOBRD solution, you'll notice some changes in the system's functionality and layout. To log in, open the Field Warrior ELD app and enter your login credentials, like you would have using the AOBRD version of the app. After logging in, you will be prompted to choose your vehicle. This is the same as the AOBRD vehicle setup process. Once you've logged in, a co-driver can log in by opening the menu drawer and selecting co-driver login. You can also change your vehicle from the menu drawer. The hours of service screen is the central screen of the ELD. From here, you can set up your duty status, see elapsed and remaining time, and manage your logs. This is similar to what you saw on the AOBRD system, but there are some differences. The driver card contains action buttons that allow the current driver to manage his or her logs. The status summary shows all the information on your current status and remaining times on your cycles. Inspection mode displays reports showing all the events that occurred in the past 7 to 8 days. Export logs allow you to send a copy of your logs via email or web service. Manage logs lets you view edit and certify logs from the past seven to eight days. Manage shipments is where you can add and edit shipment records. Switch drivers appears in the driver card as well. With the AOBRD system, you selected your duty status through the status menu. In the ELD version of the app, you tap onto the duty status buttons above the graph to set your current status. If the vehicle starts moving before you set status to driving, Field Warrior will automatically set your status to driving. ELDs are required to track on duty, not driving status. Once the vehicle has stopped moving for five minutes, Field Warrior will automatically switch from driving to on duty, but first it will display a message that allows you to stay in driving status. You can't turn auto duty status on or off manually anymore, like you did with the AOBRD system. The hours of service graph displays your logs from the current 24-hour period. With the ELD, you can choose to see a different day by selecting it from the bottom of the graph. Countdown timers show you how much time is left in driving and on duty. The timers will turn red when you get close to their limits. That's a change from the AOBRD system. Select New DVIR from the menu drawer. Then, choose pre-trip or post-trip for the vehicle or trailer. View and add shipment info to your ELD by tapping the shipment button on the hours of service screen. Tap the plus button to add a new shipment. A shipment record must include a shipping document number and a date range during which the shipment will apply. Please note the ELDs make the log entries automatically, so you'll no longer be able to track duty status manually like you could using the AOBRD. Drivers must also now approve of any changes a carrier makes to an ELD record. View, edit, certify, and annotate logs by pressing the menu drawer icon on the left side of your screen and selecting Manage My Logs or by selecting the Manage My Logs icon. This will display all logs for the past seven to eight days. This replaces the shield icon function in the AOBRD system. To edit a log, tap the three dot menu icon and select edit log. Once you're done editing the log, click save. For now, we'll close the window. Please note, you cannot edit the start time of an automatically generated duty status log. To certify your logs, Press the Certify button on the footer of the chosen day 
and choose agree when prompted to confirm. If vehicle movement is detected without a driver logged into Field Warrior or a malfunction prevents the driver from being identified, an unidentified log will be captured and presented to you upon login. You must then claim or reject that activity as your own. A manager can edit your log using IntelliHub, but those edits will not affect your log unless you choose to accept them. Next, we'll look at Inspection Mode. You can access inspection mode using the menu drawer under the road inspection or using the inspection mode icon on the hours of service screen. This screen shows a report for each 24 hour time period. If there is an unidentified driving time, an additional report will be displayed as unidentified driver. Each report contains an overview section, an hours of service graph, and a list of all event logs for the day. To export your logs using your ELD, open the menu drawer and select Export Logs. This is similar to Generate Report in your AOBRD. Once you've hit Export Logs, choose Email or Web Services as the export method. You can add a comment to the export file. You no longer have to open your file explorer to access and export the logs. Next, we'll take a look at the Status Summary screen. Access it by selecting the clock icon. The first screen you'll see under Status Summary is the Status tab. This tab shows all the information on your current status, as well as the remaining times of your cycles. The Recap tab shows any hours you'll recapture for today and the next day. Lastly, we'll take a look at the Diagnostics and Malfunctions screen. You can access it from the menu drawer under Diagnostics and Malfunctions or by clicking any of the three icons in the upper right corner of the screen. You'll notice that right now, there are triangles with exclamation points to indicate malfunctions. Current and previous malfunctions are shown on this screen and explanations of each malfunction can be viewed by clicking on the I in the bottom right corner of the screen. This covers the changes you can expect to see in Field Warrior when moving from AOBRD to ELD. If you have any questions, please reach out to Forward Thinking Support. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing Forward Thinking Systems.